Hello Joomla crew. Today we're going to check out a few things here in Joomla that you might not even know about. These are some great things inside of Joomla that unless you read really deep into the documentation of Joomla, you might not know about. So let's start with a few simple things. Okay, first I'm going to show you something cool about the module manager. Okay, so we go to the module manager here in Joomla 2.5. Okay, let's say that I'm looking for something. If I know the name of the module, I can just go to select type and say, okay, um, I want the Joomla XC image wall. Boom, shows me every instance of the image wall. Of course, that's real easy. And over here, position, if I know what position it's in, then I can just pull it up like that. That allows me to get through the module manager a lot quicker. Now, let me show you something else you might not know about. Okay, so let me go to um, our Deluxe News Pro. Okay, I see it's position 12 here. Um, let me open it up to edit it. One thing that hasn't been apparent until this version of Joomla, this still even works in Joomla 1.5, is you don't have to click Select Position if you know what position you want. You can just type it in right there. Joomla 1.5 is a drop-down for that, but you can actually type in the drop-down. That was very helpful when I learned that one. So let's do something else here. Um, let's look at the load position. Load position is a plugin that comes inside of Joomla, and it's automatically turned on, and a lot of people don't even know about this, and it's a great thing. So let me go ahead and duplicate our Deluxe News Pro here. Okay, that's in position 12, so I'm going to name this... Let's just title it load position for now. Okay, now I'm going to go here and in order to use the load position, you need to use a module position that's not used by your template. So let's just say news pro load. And I save it. Now, you might be asking, what am I doing? What I'm doing is I'm going to right now load a module position inside of a content article. Okay, I just saved it, so let me see a few things I forgot to do here real quick. I have to make sure it's published, and I need to make sure that it's on all pages, because it needs to be on all pages. So I'm going to save it and close it. Now let me go to the article manager here, and I'm going to create a new article. new and you don't have to be in HTML mode to do this you just go like this um, hello one two three testing and now I'm going to load position news pro load I think that's what I named it title this um, load position example category. I'm just going to put this right now since for the demo uncategorized. And now I'm going to save it. And that was News Pro Load. So before I look stupid here, let me just go back over here to the module manager and make sure I call that News Pro Load. Okay, so now let me go to the extension demos menu here because that's the one we're using on our site now and let me create a new menu and I'm going to link it to that article. Menu type, select and I'm going to go over here to the single article layout title load position example. Okay and I'm just going to put it in the item root and I'm going to select my article now and that was in category uncategorized low position example okay published everything's good save now let me view my site low position example okay so right there there is the news pro now right now I've got it set for the template tag, so it shows you what tags you can use inside of News Pro. Let's go ahead and go back to the administrator and let me just set that for one of the core templates so you can really see it working correctly. So 
So I'm going to go to load position and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to use one of our templates. Let's go for the CSS Hover 1 demo. One column, one row. And all categories, save and close. And let's go ahead and refresh this page. Let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. Nice. So you can actually load positions inside of your component. And this is very helpful, say, if you wanted to have a page on your website where you're not loading the component, say a sub page where you only want to show modules and want to have the component off. You can do that by simply putting your positions inside of the content. And you can also get really tricky if you know some CSS by putting div classes and stuff. You can basically create a whole new layout right inside of a Joomla content article free from having to worry about what's going on with your template module positions. So those are just a few little tricks I wanted to show you today. I'm going to try to keep this short and keep updating these things so you can get a better understanding of Joomla. I hope this helped and look for bigger and better things coming from Joomla X to see here in the future.